dust settles in the pasture. Ten widths are getting overrun. Wait a second, could this be a series that D Shaky is actually going to finish? <laughs> Okay, we don't need to watch that every time, but I'm glad you all liked it. I got a lot of good feedback from that. Feel free to recommend any other intros you'd like me to parody for future stuff. And remember to give this video a like if you want more EAW in the future. But I think it's about time we get down to business. That was unintentional, I promise. But the AI is being um, very stupid. Look at all these divisions that are here. And do you know what's weird about here? It's not connected to their capital. <laughs> so this stuff is free encirclement. This is just a free encirclement. This is a gift from the AI to us. Just to watch them, they're going to try to mass attack, try to get an advantage, but their supply is just going to disappear. We also have an army of 24 Chad tanks. Some aren't completely trained, but well, they're trained. They're not trained to regulars is what I mean. All should be fine. This should be a relatively easy war. At least I hope so. Let's see. Let's watch what happens here. Uh, of course, this was expected. They're attacking into us. I guess I better assign a general too, just for fun. They're not going to be able to keep this up for long. Syndicates of science. We're slowly doing these focuses too in this new focus tree. We'll do the workers revolution. And we actually have supply here too, which is insane. Okay, we got that encirclement and another one in the north. Let's look at casualties. <laughs> this might be the best casualty rate I've ever had. 60,000 to 2.73 million. That is quite something. We might actually get 100 to 1 casualties today. Let's see. 100 to 1 casualty rating. Oh, and also say hello to all the Bronze Hill divisions. Bronze Hill hasn't existed in like six years or something, but yeah, their divisions are here. Don't question it. Actually, we don't even need to get encirclements. We can just sit here and let them attack into us until they get tired. I love it when the AI does it. It's always the River Federation too. I'm sure if you go through my old videos, you'll see this happening a lot. The River Federation just has a problem. Doing this isn't going to make our dream of 100 to 1 losses a reality, but it's still enough that I can't complain. Down to the countryside. Oh, this looks like a nice little event. We are the thousands who build up this nation. No matter how the storms may rage, through war and famine, through grief and suffering, now we shall bring a brave new age. Less resources to market. It's not really like there's a market for it, really. I guess over here still, but not for long. Oh, wait. Oh, oh no. We're actually attritioning a lot there. I didn't realize that this was its own zone. <laughs> They're all taking 17% attrition here. 17 they're not they're not taking attrition here but 17 percent attrition all along this we don't even need to do anything on one front they're taking 17 percent attrition and on this front they're mass attacking into us Okay, time to take these islands. It's been a long time. Hopefully we should we should win the naval war. Hmm. I guess they have a decent sized navy. We might actually have to bring more stuff over here. Who capitulated? Oh, Hawkland, we must have got naval supremacy randomly. Didn't even have to look over there to win the war. We unfortunately gave up our ability to just puppet people and integrate them to get cores, so that's a thing of the past now. Now we're playing the game by the real rules, and we have to deal with occupation law. Huh. At least we have infinite manpower and infinite guns at this point, so it doesn't really matter. And let's just get this last encirclement here, and then I think we can just mass assault the rest of the way. Mm -hmm. 
And after that, they've lost 5.3 million. We've lost 130,000. Perfect. Things are going quite well. We've won in the north, and we only really have to win on one front. Now we can just go around Greater Whitland, because I don't think they're a major. Yeah. It looks like we're having some success, too. We broke a mountain tile. Perfect, our strategy was successful of going around Whitland. Didn't even need to worry about them. Kind of encircled them there at the end, but it was unnecessary. That was just for sport. And let's also fix the border gore now. We'll just send these guys some convoys. Because if there's one thing you should know about the AI, it's that they love convoys. They just love convoys. And if you give them convoys, they just let you annex them. Okay, we haven't yet united our own continent, but it's about time we try to get over here. Because the longer we get into the end game, the more tanks the remaining countries will make. That's a lot of divisions right there. I'm not too concerned. Even though they have way more divisions than us, they're probably terrible divisions. I'm not, like, scared. It's just gonna make our lives a lot easier if we attack this continent now and finish off the final major. Let's invade here though. These marines are so good they can't lose, so it doesn't, doesn't matter. The AI can't make divisions good enough to defend against these marines. Like, they could put tanks on the ports and still lose. They're, <laughs> they have four tanks here and they're losing. That's how bad all their divisions are. You know it's bad when they have three modern tanks and a medium tank and they lose against five marines. Anyways, we'll send some of our tanks over here. Like, these are kind of good divisions, but <laughs> they're not that good. Like, here's the template for the Marines. They're just 40 widths, but with Marines instead of infantry. That It's sad to see the AI losing this bad. Oh, hmm. This one Marine is losing a battle? How surprising. And they'll build up entrenchment, and now we won't be able to be kicked out of there. There's no way they can beat our tanks when they're entrenched. Look at that battle that he won, like, look! Did you see all those divisions there? That was insane. Of course he's retreating, but still. That's at least a little impressive. All brothers and sisters, us and them are one of the most fundamental and one of the most dangerous divisions. Very wholesome. Wait, what are we low on? Are we actually low on something? I don't see, we're, we're positives on everything. Oh, it's just this bug where they want to send us convoys. They're trying to integrate to me. Unfortunately, I'm not their puppet, so it doesn't matter. Do we even need to bring over a proper army, or can our, um, or can our, like, defense army that we put here to defend against getting pushed out just take them all? At this point, uh, at this point, maybe. Wait, is someone's actually justifying war? Oh, it's the Dread League. They're ready to have their fun. The Dread League isn't powerful at all. When I first played this mod, I was worried that they were going to be some sort of mega powerful evil thing, but they're very easy to beat. Like, as long as we have enough divisions to man that, I could maybe deploy some extra divisions just in case. Oh no, Griffenheim changes to the people's city. I kind of like Griffenheim. Oh, it's still Griffenheim. Oh, just like the state is the people's city. I like Griffenheim though. Is Griffenheim connected? Yeah, Griffenheim's connected to like the railroad. That's good, otherwise our supply would have been destroyed right there. But I was nice and I made this railroad while I was kind of doing wars everywhere. And we're trying to build up the supply here, too, for the eventual invasion of more countries. Right now, this is already miserable enough. We're having problems finishing off the war. They became a major at, like, the last second, which is really annoying. Ah, oh, finally. That was pretty terrible. But that should be the most difficult war, because now we can build up this area that we've conquered, and then we can make the war against whatever this alliance very easy oh and we got some cursed stuff over here and the dread league still just attacking <laughs> relentlessly oh yeah they're really close to capitulating and maybe they're not defending mage hold i could just get this guy 
send him on a special mission to invade Mageholt. He's off, let's see if he can successfully take their capital and just end the slaughter. Defending it, oh, they're defending it, but we still might win. Oh, look at this battle. Let's get some planes. Do we have any air bases nearby? Eh, we can actually reach. None of this is cast though. I don't think we will have enough time to get cast in the air. Come on, win the battle. This is for the fate of the universe. Save the world from undead right here. Wait, can we, can't we give this guy a general? That might help. I think we're gonna win. I think we're gonna win. Oh wait, they didn't capitulate? Oh, okay, there they go. And then the Arcturian Order will pop up right afterwards. There we go, we cannot risk another Dread League and the Arcturian Order is restored. How nice. Well, I did this focus that changed my mobilization law to volunteer only. And this is having some bad side effects, as in the fact that my manpower is ticking down rather quickly and I've had to delete a few armies. I'm kind of now getting scared about the possibility of success in this final war. And our one tank general still isn't actually a tank general too. And this is kind of annoying. Guessing you can get skirmisher, sure. Well, this is it. Things are bad, I can't field an army even close to as big as theirs. They have so many divisions everywhere, and I just have bad garrison divisions in the north. They're 20 widths because I can't afford to put 40 widths along that entire line. Because this is it. Once that manpower up there is gone, that's all. We can't change our conscription law anymore. Please just don't call those two guys in. Please don't. We can do some stuff here with our tanks, get some free encirclements, but everywhere else it's just bad. Atomic bombing? What? No! No, they have atomic bombs! No, please, please just bomb our cities. Just don't bomb our tanks. If they bomb our tanks, I'm going, I'm going to cry a little bit. They bombed Aquilia too? This is not good. I'm building a ton of nuclear reactors so we can fight fire with fire. Oh no, Skyfall, not Skyfall, please stop. We almost got encircled here, but I got really lucky and got to this port in time. This is kind of bad. Um, I don't really know what happened to the frontline AI, but I just decided to pull, pull all of my garrisons over here so I had enough divisions. I might have just ran out of stuff. It looks like they're not attacking up here at least. But yeah, we've united a lot, and if all else fails, I could release the River Republic and steal their manpower, and uh, there's so much I could still do. I don't have enough time to finish it today. I, I thought it could go faster, possibly, but they have so many divisions. We could win this, possibly. Maybe I can do a final episode winning the entire thing. Anyway, we'll see. If you want more, remember to like and subscribe, and see you all next time. Yeah.